guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal. Today it's going to be a little different because a lot of you guys are requesting for me to do a Tagalog makeup tutorial. A lot of you guys are asking me if I'm Filipina. Yes, I'm Filipina. A lot of you guys are kind of confused if I speak Tagalog or not. My mom has Spanish and Chinese blood, hence the Lee Kyung Son surname. My grandfather from my mom's side is one fourth Chinese, I think, and then my grandmother speaks Filipina. From my dad's side, we have American blood, so a mix of different things. So, do I speak Tagalog? Of course, yes. I speak Tagalog very fluently, and I said I was born and raised here. You guys know the man that English is a universal language. It's just a lot easier for me to communicate to my foreign subscribers when I speak English, of course. And if I speak only Tagalog, they will not understand me. But since a lot of you guys are requesting for me to do a Tagalog makeup tutorial or to speak Tagalog more often, I'm gonna do it today and in my videos to come. So without further ado, let's move on to the makeup tutorial. So right now, wala akong makeup. And wala akong foundation ngayon. No, eye makeup, wala akong um, eyebrows and lipstick. I lang a contact lens and ang gamit ko is yung EO Flexwear Illusions contact lens. And yung shade niya is Sienna. And actually, hindi to for formal lang. I mean, ko siya kasi kasi yung grado ng mata ko is mataas. So, um, so sa left side, oh no, right side ko ay 425. Kabilang mata ko is 3.75. I'm going to apply yung Revlon. Color Stay Makeup. Ito yung combination slash oily skin. And yung shade ko is golden beige. Actually, medyo light pa sa akin nito. Magamit ako ng 1 to 2 pumps. So, um, if 1 pump, um, I do full pump. Pero pag um, 2 pumps, uh, medyo konti na. So, yeah, 1 full pump. Yeah, minsan medyo madami pa yan. So, high school and college, manino pa yung mata ko. Pero nung college ako, for some reason, bigla na lang siyang naging malapo and kailangan ko gumamit ng glasses or ng contact lens and before talagang like almost everyday naka contact lens ako hindi ko kasi parang maganda siya sa eyes at the same time may grado siya hindi talaga siya comfortable sa eyes kasi it really irritates my eyes super um i don't know but it really stings my eyes um after probably one year yeah I got another one. Gamit lang ako ng sponge um, from Mio Techniques. Um, I like this sponge kasi yung shape niya maganda talaga. So, ipapat ko lang. Oh my gosh. Magaling siya masira. So, medyo sira na siya on the side. But, so, um, gusto ko ng sponge kasi parang mas natural yung effect niya. As you can see, medyo maputi talaga siya. But, after a few hours, medyo medium naman siya. So, it nagmamatch naman siya sa neck. So one full pump, na cover niya na yung half ng face ko and uh, almost enough na to yung first na inapply ko pero kung gusto ko pa ng coverage, ilalagdag ko to. Pero siguro sa eyelids ko kasi ngayon mukha ko mura kung di ba? So don't forget yung neck mo kasi kailangan match yung face and neck kasi pag nalimutan mo yan, parang namulutan mo niya yan and hindi siya maganda tingnan. Ayan, so itong foundation na to, hindi siya sobrang full coverage but uh, meron siyang matte finish which is nice kasi hindi ako talaga fan ng super full coverage na foundations kasi parang siyang nagiging flat yung crease mo and kasi kapag umaga, hindi maganda na naka-heavy foundation ka and I don't know, yung daytime look kasi yun na rin yung nighttime ko I just add um, a darker eye makeup so um, yeah, ayan so Ayan. So, medyo pantay na siya. And, hindi ko alam kung bakit mukha ko may eyeliner dito. I think yun yung excess eyeliner from last night. Oh, yun yung neck ko. Medyo iba pa rin yung kulay. Dapat, pwede na rin siguro yun. Kung gusto ko talaga ng i-cover yung mga dark areas pa. Kasi like, dito sa side na to, I don't know, for some reason, para siyang dark tignan. And, on this side, yung mga veins, I go ahead and use my concealer. Kasi, um, Eh, kung gusto mo lang naman ng extra coverage. Kasi lately, di ba, nauso din yung full freckles. Yung iba, kahit walang freckles, they add mga dots on their face. And it actually looks nice. So anyway, I'm gonna blend this with the same sponge. And if you want, pwede mo siyang i-blend ng fingers mo. But, ito kasi, mas madali. So it's just, mas madali siyang i-blend. So, minsan, ina-apply ko lang yung foundation ko all over my face. Tapos, gagawin ko yung eyebrows ko and my eye makeup and babalikan ko yung foundation ko after everything because uh, minsan nagme-melt siya or nagkikrease so um, 
hindi ko muna siya sineset ng powder. Um, sineset ko siya after na na eye makeup and eyebrows and everything else. So, para sa kilay ko, gagamitin ko itong Fashion Brow by Maybelline. And ito yung shade na Dark Brown. So, actually, maganda to kasi hindi siya, wala siyang red undertone. And, um, it has a spoolie na rin. So, very handy. So, para sa brows ko, ang inuuna ko is uh, binabrush ko muna pataas. Pag uh, in-apply mo siya ng hindi mo binabrush, um, yung mangyayari is hinihiging magulo siya tignan yung eyebrows mo. But, susuplay mo muna siya. Uh, mas magina siya tignan. Ito ng color nito kasi talagang ano siya eh, like almost black siya. But, it's like ash brown. It's called dark brown pero it's uh, it looks like ash brown. Kita ko sa inyo yung swatch nito. So yeah, medyo sheer siya. Sometimes it's nice kasi um, hindi siya harsh. So ito, uh, it will give you a natural effect. So um, normally, nagsa-start ako dito sa may front ng brows ko. Hindi ko naman masyadong lilitinan para mas natural siya. Okay, so right away, nakikita mo na agad yung difference dito and dito. Dito medyo may mga kalbo pa na part. So, um, if you fill in ko yan later. So, first, ito mo ng part na to. I really, really like this kasi nga, hindi nga siya, wala siyang red undertone. Very natural lang yung finish niya. And uh, may spoolie pa siya. So, diba? Two in one. Yan. Very simple lang. Actually, yung eyebrow routine ko, hindi siya complicated. Very, it's very easy because hindi ako parating naglalagay ng outline, tapos concealer mo pa yung ano niya, yung edges. Ay, hindi ko na, sometimes lang, pag gumagawa ko ng mga complicated makeup looks, and gusto ko talaga na on fleek yung eyebrows ko. Pero kasi now, I'm just doing an everyday look. Ayan, kita mo na yung difference, di ba? Ito medyo weird tingnan. Kailin ko kasi ito mas mataas. So, nag a ako dito, on top lang. A little bit. Pero not too much. Pantay ko lang yung taas. Kasi kailangan, pag nag-makeup ka, pantay yung left and right side of your face. Pantay yung left eye sa right eye. And pantay din yung left brow mo sa right brow. Kasi kapag, ano, di ba para symmetrical talaga tingnan. And pag symmetrical tingnan, maganda. Maganda siya. Like, especially for photos. And, kaya sa real life. Pag makeup ka, make sure to always blend out the harsh edges. Kasi, um, like this. Diba nagdagdag ako dito? Actually, wala naman siyang hair sa taas. Pero nagdagdag lang ako ng fake hair because I need it para lang pantay sila. I can see na may mga sparse areas pa dito. So, I add more of this product there. For the tail of my brows, hindi naman masyadong dark. Same lang. I want all to be the same color. Sometimes, I do the gradient brows. But, for now, Bilito na lang muna. Let's keep it simple this time. Okay na ba? So, dito din sa front, naglalagay ako. So, yung mga tools na kailangan mo to do your brows, kahit na powder siya or pencil, kailangan may spoolie ka to blend, to blend out the harsh edges. Okay, now for eyes naman, um, ayaw ko kasi for everyday actually, um, very simple lang. I forgot to tell you guys na short na yung hair ko yun. Like, it's like below my shoulders. Um, I really like it. Actually, matagal na ako na hindi na short hair. And I miss it. And actually, kasi dry na rin yung hair ko last time. So, I just had to cut it. And, um, I really like it. So, gamitin ko itong pastel nude eyeshadow. And, bigay sa akin to ni Honor from Turkey. And, I like it. I super like this one. So, parang hindi lang weird tingnan yung face ko ngayon. Um, I contour ko lang yung nose ko kasi once you apply your foundation, nawawala yung mga shadow, like nababawasan siya. So, ibabalik ko lang yung contour ng nose ko and start ako dito. And then, slowly lang, um, drag mo yung color pa baba. Ganyan. And um, don't worry kung medyo harsh siya kasi um, you can still blend it with your finger or ng brush. Yan. So, so, pag naglalagay ka ng um, nose contour, make sure na straight yung line kasi magmumukhang tabi yung nose mo if you apply na. Pag maglagay ka na medyo hindi perfect. So, dahan-dahan lang. Kapag bineblend ko na siya, gusto ko finger ko kasi 
um, it makes yung powder more natural and um, mas madali lang siya i-blend kasi nafe-feel mo yung bone mo eh na where talaga siya dapat i-blend. And for me, gusto ko talaga na well-blended siya. Like, the last thing you want is a nose na nose contour na hindi na-blend. So, yan. Yan. So, medyo bumalik na yung nose ko kasi kanina parang sobrang white. Sobrang big fan ako na shimmery eyeshadows. Kung magamit ako, definitely may shimmer. Kasi I hate yung mga matte eye look. But sometimes, if you want, pwede yung bronzer or like a matte color na ganito. Like, all over your crease. And then, eyeliner, that's it. Pero ako, gusto ko ng konting art. <laughs> so, I will put this one on my, um, all over my lids. And may sama na siyang brush, so. Okay, for everyday, hindi na rin ako nag-apaprime ng eyes. Kasi, di ba, extra step siya. And sometimes, you're in a hurry. You guys saw naman, di ako nag-moisturize or naglagay ng primer on my face. And even sa eyes. Kasi, wala lang. Parang, I don't like that step pag nagmamadali ako. And then here also, other side. Yeah, sobrang gusto kong palette na to kasi for everyday, it's amazing. Gusto gusto ko siya kasi look ko, yung colors niya very natural lang. Hindi ko alam kung kita niya sa camera. Pero in real life, promise, ang ganda ng color. Hindi siya chalky, so um, parang nag-apply ka lang talaga ng shadow. And manipis lang siya, very lightweight. Kasi kanina, magulong magulong yung hair ko. Sabi ko kay Unor, kailangan ko bang using yung hair ko for my video? Sabi niya, okay na yan. Keep it like that, you know? Uh, you don't always need to look perfect for video, so sabi ko, okay. Um, yeah, and so hindi ako nag-supply or anything. Kanina mas magulit pa yan, but... Honestly, pag nagmamadali ako, uh, minabrush ko lang siya sa back ng kamay ko, so that to clean the brush. Uh, Malinis yung hand ko. Pero hindi ako nag-wash ng kamay before I do my makeup because, you know, you don't want bacteria or anything like that. And then, um, I apply ko naman itong color na to, itong dark. And this one, medyo... Ayan. So, if a focus ko lang to on my on the outer corner, pero hindi ko siya masyado ibe-blend pa taas. Kasi gusto ko para na siyang, um, like, a shadow here. Just to add depth. Kasi pag wala, sobrang liit ng mata ko tignan. May yung purpose nito, to make my eyes look a bit bigger rin. Konti lang. Kasi nga, di ba, daytime natural look. I think ito yung gagamitin kong palette for our party this coming Sunday kasi we will have a family reunion and wow, actually masyado siyang humaba. Ayan. Oh my god, 14 minutes na. I need to stop. Okay, so if gusto mong mas dark, pwede naman siya. Build up mo lang siya. Huwag agad-agad damihan kasi if nag-start ka ng sobrang dark, mahirap na siyang bawasan. So, gradually lang add color and then blend it. Um, if hindi ka pa happy kung gano'n siya ka-dark, just add more. And hindi ko hindi ka naman masyadong in a hurry. Um, yun, take time to blend and um, apply the right, um, the right intensity. So, gagamit ako ng fluffier brush. And then, ilalagay ko itong um, color na to. Then, on top of that. So, ito yung parang barrier between my brow bone and the lid color. So, ito yung transition color. Mas maganda na siyang tignan pag may ganito kasi mas may dimension siya. For my brow bone naman, i-apply ko tong um, like cream color sa palette. And, lalagay ko siya sa brow bone. Ayan. Ganda siya talaga. Super fun talaga ako ng palette na to. And I think matagal siya magla-last kasi Ang laki ng pan niya, like, it's a small palette, pero when you look at the pan, it's actually big, malaki siya, and feeling ko tatagal talaga yung ito, kasi marami siyang laman. And you can feel na heavy siya, and full talaga yung pan, so, yun. Okay, so for my inner corner, as always, naglalagay ako ng inner corner shimmer, and um, gamit ko tong Essence All About Spring. And maganda yung colors nito, pero lahat sila shimmery, so hindi ka pwedeng gumawa ng one look, only this palette. So, itong um, shade na to, very shimmery to, so uh, it's perfect for my inner corner. To 
feeling ko hindi talaga kompleto yung makeup ko pag wala yung inner corner highlight. I don't know if ako lang ba yung gano'n, pero I think maraming nakaka-relate sa akin. So, yan. Pag hindi pa kayo contented, nagalagay pa ako talaga dyan. So, may hindi talaga ako sa shimmery products. If you guys know me, may hindi talaga ako mag. May hindi talaga ako sa mga shimmery products. Alright, so, um, next step is um, actually optional to, pero ako talaga. The more shimmers, the better. Maglalagay ako ng glitters under my eyes. So, um, any glitter liner, basta um, wearable siya and natural color. So, um, ito naman, this one is from Essence. It's their crystal um, eyeliner. And yung shade nito is Rosy Brush. And ano siya, pinkish with a gold shift. Very nice color, but let me show you guys. Yeah, that's the shade. So nice, diba? Para siyang rose gold. And, um, you know, uso naman yung rose gold ngayon. So, why not? Ayan siya. Ayan yung swatch niya. Very nice. And it's gonna look nice. So, usually, nakikita mo yung mga glitter sa lower lash line from Koreans. Kasi, it creates an innocent look. And, parang theory eyed lang yung effect niya. So, yung uso dun sa Korea, diba? And, um, okay, so, kung nalagay lang ako nito, konti dito. Ayan. Ang ganda ng color na ito talaga. Oh my gosh. Pero konti lang, ha? Huwag masyado. Ayan. So, dito din, konti. So, for eyeliner naman, hindi talaga ako gumagamit ng black if daytime. So, mostly talaga, um, gumagamit ako ng dark brown. So, ito yung, ano eh, um, LA Colors, I think. Yeah. Yung LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. Ayun, nakita ko siya. Liquid Eyeliner. Pero nag-fade na siya. And as you can see, maganda yung brush niya because it will give you a precise line. Kahit na, uh, like it's a liquid. Because sometimes liquid uh, formulas are difficult to apply. So, yung key nito is huwag masyadong makapa. Like, the, the thinner, the better. So, i-cover mo talaga yung mga skin na malapit sa eyelid sa, I mean, sa eyelashes mo. Try to really get the brush in between yung lashes mo kasi um, kailangan mag-darken siya. So now, um, magdalagin ako ng konti ng wind. Actually, depends on your makeup. Minsan maganda din yung walang eyeliner. But for this look, kasi nga, I'm wearing eyeshadow. I prefer na may eyeliner ako. Okay, same sa other side. Curl ko lang yung lashes ko with my favorite Shui Mura eyelash curler. So for mascara, gagamit ako ng dalawa. The first one is yung Maybelline Hyper Curl Volume Express Waterproof. Isa to sa mga favorite ko na um, affordable uh, mascaras because inahold nyo talaga yung curl. And for my lower lashes, gagamit ako ng um, mascara from Miniso. And ito hindi ko pa na-review to, pero if you guys want, pwede ko siyang i-review. So, pero ito, this one, I really, really highly recommend it. The Maybelline one, Hyper Curl, because it really, really, really holds curls. So, yun. If you're looking for a mascara, go ahead and get this one, kasi okay talaga siya. Ako gusto talaga spidery lashes. Kung pwede super kapal, I would do it. And then for my lower lashes, it's something na nag-volumize talaga and um, as well as lengthening. And this one, okay to, is the All Weather No Smudge Mascara from Miniso. So, I'm just going to apply that sa lower lashes. So, maganda dito kasi madali siyang i-build up kasi nga yung consistency na is sticky. So, and sorry guys, kasi marami talaga akong step for my eyes. And um, for my waterline, kung gusto mong mas brighter, tignan yung eyes mo. Magamit ako ng gold na eyeliner for my waterline. Pwede ka din kumamit ng cream color. Wag lang yung white, kasi for me, white, super exaggerated siya, tignan talaga. So, yung gumagamit ng white. Okay, um, apply ko lang ito mabilis sa uh, waterline. Um, if I'm not, okay, I'm just using my nails actually to uh, pull my eyes down. 
Yan. So, pwede mo gamitin yung thumb mo to pull it a little bit. I don't know if you can see the difference, pero it just looks a lot brighter. So, until now, ginagamit ko pa rin itong bronzer palette ko from Beauty Treats. I got this from the dollar store. And honestly, so if I have all of these colors, what for do I need one more bronzer? And hindi naman ako sobrang makeup collector, but I like reviewing products na um, that would really interest me. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use this color. So, contour ko lang tong part na to. And I'm using a small brush. Actually, small. Siya mukha lang big in video. Oh my gosh, I forgot to... Dapat pala concealer and then contour, pero I forgot. Okay, apply na rin natin yung contour. So, hindi ko pa na-set yung foundation ko. Nagko-contour na ako. Oh my gosh. Actually, hindi na lang brush na to. Yan. So, um, also, here, para mabawasan yung double chin. Here. So for concealer, the man gonna be Maybelline Fit Me concealer, and the color niya is 20 Sand. So as you can see, wala naman ako dark circles, but I still use this para ma highlight yung face ko. So I na apply ko siya on areas na gusto ko i highlight, like my chin, my nose bridge, and I always do this step because um, maganda talaga yung makeup pag nag highlight. So, yan, konti lang masyado dito. So, I learned from Wayne Goss, um, if you guys know him. Of girls, nagalagay sila ng concealer na parang triangle na ganon. And, hindi niya nire recommend yun because, um, ibe blend out mo pa yung concealer. So, um, pag masyado ka madami ni nagay, the tendency is, um, maging messy siya and, like, mahirap siya is spread and so sobrang dami yung concealer. So, this one, um, pag in-apply mo siya here first, i-blend out mo pa siya pag ganito. So, yung color, nagsispread pa. So, but if you put this like a triangle, and um, I made that mistake before, um, but sometimes it works as well if you really, really want to highlight this area. Pero if for everyday lang naman, and for daytime look, um, okay na rin yung ganito lang. And here... Okay, so for powder, I have na use old school and I like bringing this with me because it's compact. Siya. And you guys know that my favorite ko is the RCMA No Color Powder ito, and the Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder. But it's not good for traveling. I suggest bringing a compact powder like this. This one is very affordable and it's na siya in the market, very effective in controlling oil. This is the Johnson's Face Powder. and um, it's in the shade beige. So, there are two shades. I think the other one is white and this is the beige one. This is very effective in mattifying the makeup. Keep your face look oil-free all day. Plus, I like this one. Sorry guys, I'm diving steps. But like I said, if I don't film the tutorial, it's much faster. Siya. So, I'm uh, just going to use this color to uh, contour my nose again. Because when I put concealer and powder, it's going to erase. Siya. So, um, just bringing that um, shadow back. So, for contour naman, babalik ako ulit sa shade na to. Pero this time, I will mix this and this one. Kasi this one is too, like, cool tone. So, um, yeah. And this time, hindi ako magkakontour. So, swirl ko yung brush all around like this. Actually, we're gonna use a different brush. Hindi siya good. Okay, so now, I'm going to use a stippling brush like this and um, it's a swirl ko lang siya. Like, I'm just going to apply this on my cheeks um, just to bring back uh, color to my face because it's like it's white. Siya. Make sure that you blend it until it's not a harsh line. I'm going to mix two colors because I want to blend out the contour that I put earlier. So for blush, naman, ang gagamitin ko is the City Color Be Matte Blush. It's the shade Blackberry. This one naman, it's a very, very, very matte. There's no shimmers at all. So instantly, it gives you that like drunk blush makeup. I really, really like this. 
Okay, finally, nasa last step na tayo, which is lips. So, you can leave it like this without lipstick, pero if you want, um, you can go ahead and use your everyday lip color. But for me, like for everyday, gusto ko talaga lip tint. And this one is from Skin Genie, Sunset Orange. And actually, I like the um, rose pink more, but I lost it. So, ito medyo orangey siya lumabas. Mabalan mo lang, kasi I don't really want harsh. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Ang dami kong lip tints. And nawala lang sila one by one. And now, um, ito na lang yung natira. And, oh my gosh. And wala pa yung label niya. Kung gusto ko ng natural makeup look, ito talaga yung ginagawa ko most of the time. Um, stay away from black eyeliner and um, dark eyeshadow. I think yun yung secret sa daytime look. Sometimes, naglalagay ako ng highlighter. And I really, really like using yung Essence All About Spring. Yung nilagay ko sa inner corner ko. And they have this really nice shade here, yung, um, there's no shade, pero itong shade na to, like pinkish. And ito naman, very, very shimmery itong palette na to, so ganda niyan for highlight, as you can see. So, it works as a highlighter then. so I'll just use my finger. And, um, a lot of girls like putting yung highlighter na dito, pero ako, gusto ko dito lang. Here, there, this side, this part lang. Um, like right under my eyes and then hindi ko talaga siya dinadala dito kasi I just like that effect there na parang like wet so pinafocus ko lang to sa lower part ng um, outer corner ng mata ko and then if I want, ibiblend ko pa lang siya like blend out basta like not too much here lagay din ng konti sa cupid's bow ganyan and then konti din sa nose Ang lulobot na yung camera ko, it's gonna turn off anytime soon. So, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys want me to do more Tagalog makeup tutorials or anything like that, just let me know. Or any kind of video in mind, just write it down below. I always read you guys' comments. And thank you, thank you so much for watching today's video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I post a new video. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye!